going to be doing this uh, region here today on this Frontliner. It's a new Cascadia. Uh, that's the reason why I'm doing it. It's letting me know and also has a code, which is basically telling me about the region that needs to be done. But other than that, here I'm not going to explain the self-explanatory ones, but I am going to explain first with your dock end pressure your uh, dock inlet pressure the numbers need to be going down during the region if it doesn't go down uh, or if it goes over a one to three psi you uh, most likely got a plugged dock filter so uh, that could be the issue and it's also known as it's also known as face plug uh, you might need a new one box if the worst comes down to the worst on that we have here your fuel dozer injection status right here. Uh, this basically means when the fuel is injected into the exhaust, uh, exhaust pipe starts to inject fuel in the exhaust stream which basically heats the truck up more rapidly. And then um, obviously this is your temperature sensors all the way over here. All of them are more uh, explanatory. You have your NOx sensor dew point so and you have your inlet and your out so basically these here uh, if they're red the entire time is a problem with the knock sensor so if these are if you're running your, your uh, region and these are both red the whole time then you know that you got a, a problem with uh, with one of those or both so these knock sensors the outlet uh, set down uh, set and done should be when it's all done for the uh, outlet it should read uh, at least 30 to 50 uh, looking for a reduction in the knocks from the entrance uh, to when it leaves the one box so that's basically that and you want these here to be 50 parts per million apart from each other that's how it's supposed to be uh, one is significantly uh, out of the parts per million from 40 to 50 then you know one of those got a problem as well uh, this is not going to be available until you start the truck, but that is your uh, NOx conversion efficiency. This number gives you the uh, basically gives you the efficiency has to be. Some people said that the old number is 70%. Uh, I go by 85%. So if it's not met during the region, and then uh, it's, it's, so basically if it doesn't go down, uh, basically it'll be in D rate. If that, I mean, it's not at the right interval. So, um, so if you want to also test those uh, sensors as well, you can uh, go to, so you're going to go back to your DPF system over here, and you can be able to test those by running a, you know, performance check, low, uh, low temp region, so that's how you can do that. But I'm going to start this region, I wanted to explain a couple things before it starts making noise you might not be able to hear me so uh, let me go ahead and get back to my DPF screen and what you want to do also make sure you got the AC off you don't want that compressor running once we start the engine we can go ahead start a region. It's going to let you know these. Basically, you have to have all that going on when you want to do your region. Click yes. And then it's going to go into region mode. So, that's basically what it's doing now. So, as you can see, the inlet is on. And we're going to wait for this to go green. So really right now we're just waiting and we're going to wait for the truck to uh, get up to temperature. So once it gets up to temperature you're going to start seeing these numbers start to change. And it took me a while to kind of learn all these things myself. Usually, you know, other mechanics they just know they got to do a region yeah, and then they do the region and then walk away from it. So I kind of didn't want to be that kind of technician that does the region and then walks away and then that half the time not even know what what was happening or what fixed it so so 
how fast the engine's going. temperature that's basically temperature that's outside so you know you want them for your uh, normal knock sensor reading we want the upstream and the downstream sensors, they should match pretty closely. So we know that the engine, uh, the engine outlet knocks on is steady. So cruises around 200 to 300 parts per million. So we want to kind of wait. It takes a while to either get uh, to get somewhere, but I'll definitely show like the ending results. So you can see it's not injecting any fuel yet no fuel being injected. That's our fuel line, the pressure. This is in the fuel rail over here. So yeah, so it's 10.04, I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna uh, show you a little bit more how different, as you can see. my fuel cutoff valve at 100. Once that gets to 100, I want to start watching my fuel compensation pressure. The reason why I'm watching it, also I know my code that I had, it was this one right here, DPF, uh, hydrocarbon absorption very high, which is off now. So I'm going to go back here. You're, um, I'm kind of concerned about this a little bit, but um, I know my fuel compensation pressure, um, I know that's supposed to be uh, it's supposed to be 65 to 95 psi, but if it's if it's less than 65 psi, you might have a bad uh, hydrocarbon dose block. But uh, now you can see my field dose injection is uh, injecting. It's at temperature, as you can see. These are the uh, right temperatures. And if you have any questions on what these temperatures are, most of the ones that I'm not even going over on this video, you can leave it in the comment section and I will definitely answer those questions. As you can see right here, my um, sensors are, are all green here. My outlet sensor here is low. pressure uh your death pressure should, uh, should be 130 to at least 160 psi that's what i would go by if it's not uh if it's not reaching those numbers then you know you most likely you got like maybe clogged or it's contaminated dirt or metal so 
stopping if you're doing so. And you got your pump speed. Your pump speed should be 750 to uh, 1800, whatever those are per minute. So uh, we're good there. Or you can also follow me on uh, 